YouTube, YouTube, what is up, man? We recorded on the GoPro today, man. I used to record on my phone, but it's dead right now, so I gotta charge it, but sure we on today, man. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. She a hoagie right now. I gotta I gotta do a lot of fixing up on her, so we about to get right today with that. GVO's coming up, like I said before. Um we're going to run through this whole bike, fix everything up, get this back fender back right, and we're going to get her ready for GVO, man. She's still looking good. The plastic still look good on her and everything, but, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get her right, but first, let's see if I could get it started, because yesterday it took me like 50 kicks to get it started, so we're going to try and see. piston man when they keep doing that and it's not even starting and it wants to i'm not even gonna try to keep kicking i'm just gonna let me turn the gas off turn the choke off i'm just gonna start tearing this bike down man and i'm gonna take y'all through the whole process of what i what i'm gonna do to get it right so let's get it all right y'all so first thing i did was took the seat off and as you can see, this is what my air filter was looking like, horrible. And I realized there's a lot of sand down there in the air box also, so you guys can see. And that's from all the trail riding I used to do, so I'm definitely gonna have to clean all this up in here. And um, we got a new air filter also, so we'll be good there. Well, let's go ahead and try to take down some more, uh, some more things. I had to transfer over to the phone. The GoPro was acting stupid. But I got the header off, as you guys can see. So, just looking at the O-rings. I put this O-ring, this inner O-ring in like two months ago. And it's still pretty good. So I'm going to definitely reuse it. And this outer one looks really good too. So I'm going to definitely reuse both of those. Um, the inside of this head doesn't look too bad. It still looks the same as from when the last time I put it off. So I know there's not really, you know, nothing wrong with that. And here's the spark plug. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely going to be changing this. It's, I had this in for a long time. I'm not going to lie to you, a very long time. What was it? B, BR9, yep. So I'm going to definitely get that changed. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this header off. Uh going to examine the inside, see how the bridges and all that looks. And uh, we'll get back to you. Let's get it. All right, guys, as you can see. Got that cylinder off nice and easy. Ugh, this is what a piston looks like. That's, what are we in? We're in February, about to be February. This is what a piston that looks like 11 months old right here, guys. 11 month old piston, still very lubricated, feels very good. Ring, uh, this, um, the ring is, oh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, the ring is still good, still very good ring you know piston got some um some carbon build up on it but that's nothing that's still very good let me check this uh crankshaft let's see uh, got a little side to side play nothing major but no no up and down play let me see yeah, no up and down play, which is good. A little bit of side to side play. That's not nothing major. But it looks very lubricated in there. Even this piston's very lubricated. So um gonna pull this off and um I think that should be the end of this first video and then next video is gonna be cleaning out this carb, uh putting new jettings in there and Clean it on the frame, but then putting her all back together, man. So let's get it. I almost forgot before I end this video. I just wanted to show the inside of the cylinder. 
It's no gouges, nothing. That's what you're seeing right here. I can't really point. Let me put it down. Ooh. Uh, this right here is, at first it looked like a gouge, but it's just, you know, uh, overheating and all that. But it's definitely not a gouge. I'm running my nail against it. It's smooth. Um, but the rest of the cylinder still looks very good. Let's see if I can all right, let me zoom in for you guys here. See what we're working with, you know what I'm saying? This cylinder is also 11 months old too, because last March I sent out both my OEM cylinder and this Athena cylinder. Yeah, um, sent it out to get uh, replated and all that, and it's still in very good condition. So this is an 11 month old cylinder now. It looks good, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take that piston off, like I said. Try to clean up this engine a little bit, and uh, we should be all set. Yeah, got that piston off, you know what I'm saying? There's a better, closer look at it. Let's put it down real quick. Like I said, just a lot of carbon built up on the top, which is normal, but that's for right here. That's that part on the inside of the cylinder that I was telling you that looks kind of um scuffed. But it's really not, it's just heat marks. Heat marks, heat marks, so. Yeah, man. Doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Like I said, the um, the um, the ring is still very mo movable. It's not stuck or anything like that, how it was on like one of my previous pistons. Definitely a, some weird to it, but it, I could have got some more life out of this piston for sure. But I'd rather just change it. I'm gonna save it, save it for you know if anything ever happens in the future. I've got, always got an extra piston, and uh, yeah, I think yeah we're all good, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this top end on, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and attack this uh, this carburetor. So let's get it. Step to the side, you know what it is Got the speakers booming and we came in with a stick Back pocket, hold the extra clip, can't take a risk Please don't act tough, don't fuck around, my shooters never miss It's your shorty in my session, I can't lie, she looking right But a closer, I'ma give her my room number, spend the night Ain't no strings attached, cause after this I gotta catch a flight That's talking more, I can't that's what I like